there were some news reports this morning that I want to address. First, my commitment to the success of our president and our country is as strong as it was the day I accepted his offer to serve as Secretary of State. President Trump's America First agenda has given voice to millions who felt completely abandoned by the political status quo and who felt their interests came second to those of other countries. To address a few specifics that have been erroneously reported this morning, the Vice President has never had to persuade me to remain as Secretary of State because I have never considered leaving this post. I value the friendship and the counsel of the Vice President, and I admire his leadership within President Trump's administration to address the many important agendas of President Trump, both from a foreign policy perspective and a dip diplomatic, a, uh, I'm sorry, a domestic objective. Let me tell you what I've learned about this president, whom I did not know before taking this office. He loves his country. He puts Americans and America first. He's smart. He demands results wherever he goes, and he holds those around him accountable for whether they've done the job he's asked them to do. Accountability is one of the bedrock values the President and I share. While I'm new to Washington, I have learned that there are some who try to sow dissension to advance their own agenda by tearing others apart in an effort to undermine President Trump's own agenda. I do not and I will not operate that way. And the same applies to everyone on my team here at the State Department. I think it's the most important element of the article is to reaffirm my commitment to this role that President Trump's asked me to serve and to dispel with this notion that I have ever considered leaving. I have answered that question repeatedly. For some reason, it continues to be misreported. There's never been a consideration in my mind to leave. I serve at the appointment of the President, and I'm here for as long as the President feels I can be useful to achieving his objectives. Could you address the, the main headline of this story that you called the President a moron? And if not, where do you think these reports are? I'm, just, are I'm not going to deal with petty stuff like that. I mean, this is, this is what I don't understand about Washington. Again, you know, I'm not from this place. But the places I come from, we don't deal with that kind of petty nonsense. And it is intended to do nothing but divide people. And I'm just not going to be part of this effort to divide this administration.